Hello, this is iTouchGuru with another episode of Tricks to Term VT100. For this, you need BSD subsystem and, of course, Term VT100. Open up your uh, app, and <clears throat> the first one we're going to do, the command is called top. T O P. Type that in, and you have all your processes running, okay? It shows you how many are or how many processes you have, how many you have running, your load average, CPU, usage, and everything like that. <clears throat> you can get your uh, process ID. Basically, that is if you want to kill a command. To do that, you're going to want to find the process ID. Let's say we want SFTP serve to be killed. So, you go back in there, you get the ID, and you type kill, space, process ID. Okay. After you do that, you just click return, and it would kill it. That was a fake uh, process ID, of course, but um, that's how you would kill a process. The next command is date. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just type in date, and it shows you the day, the month, the time, and the year. <clears throat> pretty simple command. The next one is list, ls. Just type in ls to, to uh, see the folders that you have, or files. Um, and then, let's say I want to look in the media folder. I just type ls, space, uppercase m, e, d, i, a. And then I just click return. And it shows all of them. Now if I wanted to go into that folder, I'd have to change directory into there. You can uh, find out how to do that. <clears throat> in the uh, term VT100 tutorial that I did before this. Next one is called PSU. You just type in PS space uppercase U space your, the username which is a root on all iPod touches unless you changed it somehow. And then it shows <clears throat> more um, processes. Basically it's a, it's a simplified version of top basically. Here, uh, you just have all the uh, IDs, again, and where they are located. And uh, the time that they've been running, of course. Um, <clears throat> this is, it's pretty much a simplified version, but it shows, like, where the uh, process is actually located. Alright. <clears throat> the next command is df minus h. You just type df space minus h. That shows all the partitions that you have on your iPod and uh, how much space that you've used, how much space is available, and the percent of how much has been used. <clears throat> for the uh, partition for where you jailbroken it, it's 300 megabytes, and I have 40 megabytes left. <clears throat> I, I moved that, so um, there's a lot more space. And then you have your regular partition, which is 15 gigabytes. I use 6.1, and there's 8.8 .8 gigabytes available. And then there's the uh, smaller one, which I don't exactly know what it's for. It's 15K, and it's all filled up. 15K kilobytes. The next one is the reboot command. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll do that really quick. Just type in reboot. Shuts, shuts off your uh, iPod and turns it right back on. After this is done rebooting, I'm going to show you how to boot up your iPod Touch in verbose mode, which is basically a DOS kind of startup, which it shows you exactly what's happening when it gets started up. <clears throat> okay. Let me uh, slide to unlock everything here and just look at something really quick. Alright, to do verbose mode, you're going to have to go into your term, and then you type in nvram space boot, oops, b-o-o-t dash a-r-g-s equals Then you, uh, you use a quote, you type in minus V, then end quote. 
you click return, and then it should just come up with another pound sign, meaning that's successful. And I'll show you what it looks like to boot up in verbose mode. So I'm just going to type in reboot. It's pretty cool. And that's for both mode. <clears throat> Loading all the drivers. It's kind of like booting up into safe mode if you've ever done that. And now it's going to keep booting up into verbose mode until you turn it off. So to turn it off, you go uh, back into term. And you type in the following. <clears throat> NVRAM space boot dash args equals quote quote and now when I reboot it won't boot into verbose mode you don't have to worry about memorizing any of these commands again because I'm going to be putting them in the video description and again if you want any of the uh... <clears throat> if you want a theme theme that i'm using right now you're gonna have to uh... go to the sip voip video and the link is in there it's an ipod touch fans link okay and that's how those are are more tricks to term vt100 and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you can put those to use so that's been another episode of I touch guru and I hope you enjoyed it.